All right, everybody, welcome back. Grab a pen and jot this down. If you're worried about inflation, don't be. It's not something you can control. It's not something the government is aware about. It just happens. It's, it's just part of the economy. There's a lot of things that are not included in inflation. There are a lot of things that are. And if you aren't familiar with your own spending habits, your own budget problems, you know, how you're investing your money, how your investments are impacted by inflation, whether it's fixed revenue stream, variable, how your income, whether it's, you know, rising or, or, you know, increasing greater than your expenses. Those are small things that only you can know and you cannot rely on the government to tell you what the difference is. And, you know, if, if, if inflation's at 8%, but your cost of living is only increased by 4%, then you happen to be in a very targeted area, a niche where you're simply not as impacted as everyone else. The inverse can also be true. So you could, you know, have a cost of living that increases by 20% if you live in New York City, for example, like behind me. But your salary might increase by 30% because you're in a really attractive job. So these are areas that are, you know, inflation is not a blanket economic indicator. It's not fair to say, hey, it's 8% across the country because different regions, different cities, different uh, just towns, states, everybody has a different lifestyle, different cost of living. New Jersey is more expensive than Delaware. Delaware might be cheaper than Wyoming. So you just don't know. You don't know by town, by city. You know, you could go over three area, three streets. You could have a completely different tax uh, liability. You could also have different job offerings. You could be working remote in one area. You could be working locally at a manufacturing plant. So don't rely on macro indicators like inflation. It's good to give you kind of a compass of where the country is going, uh, where it currently is. But it's not unique because you don't know uh, what everyone else's standard of living is. And you really need to be more attentive to what your inflation rate is. And if you can find that out, if you do your budgeting every month, you can have a precise number say, hey, my cost of living has increased by 7.2%. I haven't changed any of my expenses, but things are just getting more expensive. Or maybe, you know, your rent isn't increasing as much. Maybe it's only 2%. Then that's fine. But don't be, don't be afraid of the headlines. Keep doing what you're doing. Invest as you are. And then just stay top of mind. Say, am I making enough money to exceed my costs? And is that spread, is that ratio between ex income and expenses big enough? Where if the ratio is big enough, then you, have, you start feeling wealthy. If this ratio is very tight, you start feeling very poor. So make sure that ratio is very wide and grows, gets wider and wider over a long period of time.